My name is Dr. Russell Ramsey. I'm with the University of Pennsylvania's Perelman School of Medicine, providing a video abstract for my article entitled Assessment and Monitoring of Treatment Response in Adult ADHD Patients, Current Perspectives in the Journal Neuropsychiatric Disease and Treatment. The overarching goal of the review is to provide practicing clinicians with specific tools to help make the diagnosis of ADHD in adulthood, as well as to track treatment response, be it in psychosocial treatment or pharmacotherapy medication management. The tools reviewed include an overview of the structured diagnostic interviews focused on the official diagnostic criteria. These are augmented with a review of some symptom checklists tied in with the official diagnostic criteria, as well as screening measures that some clinicians may use to determine if their patients require more extensive follow-up diagnostic evaluation. Adult ADHD inventories often draw on the official diagnostic criteria, but include a wider array of difficulties often experienced by adults with ADHD, such as the disorganization, time management difficulties. The Executive functioning inventories target a specific do domain or several specific domains of areas related to poor self-regulation, which is considered a core component of adult ADHD, which gets at the time management, disorganization, motivational difficulties, as well as the emotional regulation difficulties that we now understand as a core component of ADHD. Apart from the symptom measures and executive functioning measures, there's also measures to document functional impairment as well as quality of life, which is often a part of a diagnostic evaluation and is helpful in terms of being treatment targets. Part of the review also includes selecting targets based on the type of treatment. Uh, one way of thinking about it is psychosocial treatments may not target symptom relief, but may be more focused on improving functioning as well as executive functioning coping skills, so those measures might be better sources of information for follow-up, whereas the pharmacotherapy, the medication management, often gets at functional improvements through symptom relief, so the symptom measures may be good for that. In addition to the specific tools, uh, I also review the multiple sources of information that can be helpful both for diagnosis and treatment, as well as degrees of meaningful and reliable change uh, that help determine whether improvements actually reach a threshold of treatment being helpful to decide whether to continue treatment or consider additional referrals. So in conclusion, hopefully the review article will be helpful for clinicians and assessors in practice to help choose the right tools for them to make the diagnosis, track their treatments, and improve overall practice.